All right, how to turn a breech baby. So breech means that the baby is not in the, the head down position and like their bum or their feet are down in the pelvis instead of the head. So if you haven't reached week like around 36 of gestation and baby is still not in that head down position, I wouldn't worry too much yet because it is pretty common for babies to turn into the head down position up until around week 36. Um, it, babies like as you probably know if you can feel the baby moving around they move all around when they still have space but around week 36 things start to get a little bit more cramped and it's harder for them to make the turn so if you are around like week 34, 35, 36 of gestation, baby still isn't turned, and you want to start just some, some gentle methods to start turning the baby, here's what you can do. Um, of course, before doing any of these, I recommend letting your care provider know just in case you have any special circumstances that would make any of these dangerous. So always check with your care provider first. Okay, so first and foremost, um, a lot of these techniques are based on the idea of relaxing your uterus because the more relaxed your uterus is, the more space baby will have to turn because their head is the heaviest part of their body. So typically if there's space to turn, they are organically motivated to get into that head down position. So in the description of this video, I have a link to a guided meditation that was specifically designed to help the uterus relax, to energetically send baby the signals to go ahead and turn. I recommend listening to that as much as you can, but especially when you're doing almost all of the following techniques. Okay, so something called moxibustion is a very common technique for turning a breech baby. So this consists of an acupuncturist rubbing eye of the newt, unicorn poop, and some breast milk on your belly. Just kidding. But it is a little bit voodoo-ish, but again, it works. So what it actually entails is a licensed or um yeah licensed acupuncturist and they burn mugwort by your pinky toes these are bladder 67 acupuncture points and the idea is that the the heat stimulation by the pinky toes it stimulates the release of estrogen and prostaglandins which stimulate mild contractions that are supposed to support baby and turning without putting you into preterm labor. But again, you want a licensed acupuncturist, somebody that really knows what they're doing, and you definitely want to get the go-ahead from your care provider before doing this. Okay, and then acupuncture. So acupuncture that is focused on helping the uterus relax, just enhancing overall calm, can be really great in conjunction with moxibustion. Child's pose. So if you've done yoga, you know what child's pose is. You're essentially like kneeling down, laying down kind of with your head on a soft surface, and you're sticking your butt up in the air. For the purpose of turning a breech baby, you really, really wanna get your butt way up there, stay in that position for a couple minutes unless you get really lightheaded. Um, if possible, listen to that relaxation recording, pop in some earbuds or have it playing however, however you want. Um, that can really help. You can also get on all fours and gyrate your hips. This can kind of help to encourage baby to get moving, to make that turn. Uh, the pelvic tilt. So what you would do with the pelvic tilt is you would lay down flat on your back. You would bend your knees, plant your feet on the ground and lift up your butt. This is called the bridge pose in yoga. But while the bridge pose is pretty hard to maintain, for you, what we're gonna do is after you get your butt up in the air, you're going to have a helper put pillows under your butt so you're really not having to exert much effort. Um, you're easily able to just keep your, your butt up in the air. And this helps to you know disengage baby from the pelvis so they can more easily make that turn. 
There's also something called the Webster technique that is performed by a chiropractor, and this helps to realign the pelvis, hopefully helping to create a more positive environment for baby to, to make that switch. Um, I would ask your care provider definitely for a referral if you're interested in the Webster technique. Music. This is kind of an old wives tale, but legend says that if you put like a fun jam on on your iPhone or whatever, get some earbuds and you hold them towards the, the bottom of your abdomen. The idea is that baby will be curious about the music and rotate head down to listen to the music. No studies support this, but it's worth a try. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, another gentle way to help turn the baby is finding a Spinning Babies Aware Practitioner. So Spinning Babies is a really amazing organization that has trained practitioners um, in how to help turn a breech baby. And they'll guide you through a lot of the techniques I just mentioned and all sorts of other ones. There is a link in the description for the Spinning Babies website. That's a really great resource. If all of those more gentle techniques don't work, you can ask your care provider if you are a candidate for what is called an ECV or an external cephalic version. And with this, you would typically go into the hospital and a, train, a practitioner trained in ECV will have you lay down and then they will use their hands to manually press on the outside of your belly to turn the baby. It usually just takes a few minutes, but it can be pretty uncomfortable. You definitely want to be, you know, listening to a guided meditation to help you relax during this. Sometimes they give you some medication to help the uterus relax. They're also monitoring baby the whole time to make sure baby doesn't go into any distress during this. Um, and if you have not had a baby before, an ECV is typically effective about 33% of the time. And if you've had a baby before, it works around 61% of the time. So if you've already had a baby, that really ups your chances of having a successful ECV. Uh, and sometimes after this procedure, like the baby turns, but then they turn back, which, which obviously is frustrating. Um, a few reasons you would not be a good candidate for an ECV include um, placenta abruption, severe preeclampsia, and any signs of fetal distress. If the baby's not doing great, they're not going to want to do an ECV. Um, one of your other options, if none of the techniques work to turn the baby, you can start looking into the option of having a vaginal breech delivery. Um, if you're not incredibly motivated to do this, I would not look into it. Um, you have to really want it to, to do a breech delivery because it can be pretty hard to find a care provider that's willing to support one um, because unfortunately a lot of medical schools don't train care providers anymore in how to attend a breech delivery but there are still some some uh, doctors out there that will do it so if you know anybody that has had a breech delivery i would definitely ask them who their care provider was um, and if not you know i would start reaching out primarily to university hospitals um, teaching in hospitals that they, they probably have a higher chance maybe of having somebody that is trained in doing that and just calling around and asking different care providers if they know of anybody that is trained to support a breech delivery. Um, and then if you do find somebody you know, really discuss your options with them. See if they think you're a good candidate for one, what the risks are, the benefits, really go into it with your eyes wide open. And finally, you know, if you if you can't turn the baby and you really don't feel comfortable with the breech delivery, you know, doing what you can to, to come to terms with having a, a C-section. Having a C-section doesn't in any way mean that you've like given up or you're not actually giving birth in a real way. A C-section takes a lot of courage and is a, a beautiful way to birth if that is where your path is leading you. So again, I really encourage you to not see a C-section as a failure, especially when you've done everything you can. You can only do so much to turn a breech baby. Um, again, maybe you can't find somebody that would deliver a breech baby. And ultimately, if you're just wanting a C-section, that's fine. All right, if you have any questions about breech babies or like sunny side up babies, I have a video in here about that. Just let me know in the comments below. Thank you.